In other news, Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Chirchu and the Director General of the Energy Petroleum and Regulatory Authority, Daniel Kipto, have been summoned to appear before the Senate to shed light on the Embakasi gas explosion that led to the death of seven people and the injury of 300 others. However, the two were a no-show with the Energy CES stating that he was out of the country through a letter submitted to the committee. As Abdi Aziz Hashim now tells us, the CES and the IPRA DG are expected to appear before the committee next week on Tuesday or risk being fined half a million shillings. The cabinet secretary, Mr. David Chirchir, each year is currently out of the country on official state duty and as such will not be able to appear before the committee on the stated date. The purpose of this letter is therefore to convey the apology of the cabinet secretary. When urgent matters touching on the lives and livelihoods of the people of this republic and specifically the people of Nairobi, that a cabinet secretary would write to this committee only hours before the meeting to tell us that he has traveled. The parliamentary business takes precedence over any other business. And that is what I know, and that has been the practice in this parliament. Mr. Chairman, I'm so disappointed. People have died. Kenyans need answers. And you know, just uh, taking to court a few people here and then uh, giving them bond, it, it doesn't answer the question. A photo of a young man, 14 year old, who passed on yesterday. If you look at those two photos, Chair, the bodies haven't been removed from different hospitals, released from different hospitals. I therefore think that we should yes go ahead and use the powers vested in us to summon the, the CS, uh, the Director General of EPLA and uh, the PS, and most importantly, find out which other installations are in residential areas within the country so that we try to see how we can avoid an occurrence of such incidents in any other part of the country.